Tragic Incident in Indianapolis, Domestic-Related Shooting Leaves One Dead Introduction In a recent unfortunate incident, Indianapolis was witness to a heartbreaking domestic-related shooting that resulted in the death of a young woman. The incident highlights the complexities and consequences of domestic relationships and the tragic aftermath that can unfold. In this blog post, we'll delve into the details of the incident, shedding light on the events that transpired and the impact they've had on the community. The Unfolding of the Tragedy On a fateful day in August 2023, the tranquil neighborhood on the south side of Indianapolis was shaken by a distressing incident. According to court records, 27-year-old Keyshawn Pettis, an accused killer, allegedly shot and killed his ex-girlfriend, 29-year-old Nicole Kirksey, before attempting to end his own life. The incident took place at the Laurelwood apartment complex, a seemingly ordinary setting that became the backdrop for a heart-wrenching tragedy. A history of connection, reports indicate that Pettis and Kirksey had been in a relationship for several years before their connection took a tragic turn. Despite their shared history, friends and neighbors revealed that the couple had recently gone through a breakup, adding a layer of complexity to the events that unfolded on that ill-fated day. This underscores the complexities that can arise in relationships, even after they've officially ended. The chilling sequence of events. Eyewitnesses provide a harrowing account of the events leading up to the shooting. A neighbor stated that Pettis had been waiting for Kirksey to return home to the apartment building. Their interaction seemed innocuous, as they engaged in conversation. However, tragedy struck when gunshots rang out, shattering the peaceful ambiance of the neighborhood. The neighbor, Richard Johnson, acted swiftly, calling 911 after discovering a bleeding Pettis on his front porch. The Aftermath and Investigation Police reports suggest that Pettis shot Kirksey in her apartment, hitting her in the head and wrist, before turning the gun on himself. While Pettis survived his self-inflicted injuries, Kirksey tragically lost her life. The incident also left a profound impact on the community, especially on Kirksey's young children, who were left behind in the wake of this horrifying event. The investigation revealed that two other witnesses were present in the apartment at the time of the shooting, adding further details to the tragic narrative. Addressing previous red flags, court records reveal that Pettis had a history of violence, as he had previously been charged with domestic battery involving Kirksey in 2016. However, the victim chose not to press charges at the time, resulting in Pettis pleading guilty to a lesser battery charge. This underscores the importance of addressing red flags and seeking appropriate intervention in cases of domestic violence. Conclusion The incident in Indianapolis serves as a sobering reminder of the complexities and potential dangers that can arise in domestic relationships. It highlights the need for awareness, intervention, and support systems for individuals facing such situations. As we reflect on this tragic event, our hearts go out to Nicole Kirksey's family and friends, as well as to all those affected by similar incidents around the world. It is our collective responsibility to create a safer and more compassionate society where such tragedies become a thing of the past.